and to figure out where it is, where to pull it, I usually just make like the little scoring mark. How do you tell the difference between the front and the back? Well, so usually I just kind of wet my finger, the tip of my finger, okay. and go on both sides, and whichever side is a little stickier, uh, I know that's the side that I need to cut on, which gotcha. I'll need to do that real quick. You didn't just lick your finger, did you? I did. <laughs> I, I do it too, but you know, I don't, anything I play with, nobody ever eats, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That is the side. Yeah, you can tell that after a while side. as you touch them. All right, so basically I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to score just a little mark right there. Just to cut it right there. See, and then it just uh, peels right off this acetate backing here. Now, granted, it is a little humid here in Georgia. Uh, I just heard some thunder roll in, so I think we're about to have another storm. But, oh well. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And whenever it's humid like that, it's a little harder to peel the cello sheet off this acetate, so you just have to be really careful. And usually when I apply a little bit of heat, like my heating lamp, it actually helps. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to lay this down like so on my mat. See, I have icing images, Silpat mat. Nice. Best Silpat mat ever. That's right. <laughs> and available at icingimages.com. And you can use the 10% off code. Sorry, go ahead. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before I work with it with a hot ice malt, I'm gonna put on my gloves. It's two gloves. You got cotton glove, and then you have your nitrate glove. You can use, uh, they have like black, blue, whatever. I just usually get black because I go through these pretty quickly. So when, when I wear them, which I wear them all the time, messing with ice malt. So I'm always safe. Okay. Yeah, because it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there says thunderstorms must be scheduled for Tuesdays this summer. We just had another one today. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we have right. thunderstorms almost daily here. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, we have two, actually. It's been weird. But, I mean, good, though, that we need it. So, okay, so... Um, Got a, I laid my um, cello sheet flat on this uh, thin silicone uh, mat, which is from Simi Cakes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a hot ice malt right there in the center, just like so. And that should be plenty. Okay. And then I'm just going to give it like a few seconds before I take it. Now, when I take it, shut that thing off for a minute okay so i'm actually going to take this whole sheet and i'm actually going to move it over to here so this is where i'm going to move the camera just a little bit so you guys can see kind of what i'm doing okay that should be enough mm -hmm. not that way that way there we go Okay, so I'm going to take this, so you didn't even bring it to the edge, and then just kind of lay it down like that. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the demo. Have a great night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and then you basically just let it sit there and cool. I usually let it cool in the air, you know, just regular air. I don't put a fan on it because if you put a fan on it with it being so thin, if you get it too cold, it'll crack. So I just usually just let it air dry for a little bit. So I figure while we let it air dry, 
I'll talk a little bit about actually brought so Debbie I brought that uh, display cake home right from Atlanta. Wait, what'd you bring home? That um that display cake that we brought to, uh, oh yeah in Atlanta at uh mm. oh, what was that thing called? RDDBA. Yeah, thank you. Say so that five times. Boy. So okay. I figured I'd talk about this a little bit while it's drying. <laughs> good thing. I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything else. So, <laughs> so uh, of course, we have the ice malt here. Use the little cello sheets. This is actually cello sheet, so it's wrapped around a cake. Uh, all the cake is actually fun and covered. And it's I just so love the way. It's so smooth on there. I like how smooth is. and shiny it is. So. What a, the trick to that was, you know, after I covered it in fondant, I actually used some of the little honeys um, glue, which Icing Images sells. It is the most amazing glue you will ever work with in your entire life. I mean, better than piping gel. It is just amazing. So what I do is I actually dip it in, uh, dip my brush in the glue, and then I coat the entire cake where I want it wrapped. I just coat it with that glue. And then I take the sheets and I start in the middle and wrap it around both sides. And then you just smooth it out. You smooth it out with your finger, with your hands, or lightly with like a, a cosmetic sponge too. That usually works out very well. So and it just gives us just this beautiful like sheen on it. It's just so pretty. That's so, cool. Okay. Hi, Sydney. Hey, Sydney. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do I have next? Um, oh, so on. So this is like a two-part side of the cake. So I'll do this side first. So this side I did uh, the smart sheet. So the smart sheet actually has it's uh, two-sided. One side is like a texture side, and then the other side is a very smooth side. So the nice part about it, smart sheet is you can print on either side or you can paint, use it on either side you want to. It is one of my, hand, other than cello sheet, hands down one of my favorite papers to use. So is that um, on the second tier? Because we can't see the second tier. It, yeah, oh, sorry. That's okay, we'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yeah, now right when here. you... When you print on the smooth side, you can't see it well on, on camera, but when you print on the smooth side, it gives a very high, a higher definition. Um, and I think in many cases, higher than even an icing sheet. Um, it's a sugar-free paper that we sell. Um, it's, again, it's called Smart Sheet. And, and so you print it on both, both sheets, both sides, right? Right, both so, sides. So if could, I had to guess, the right hand one, I guess it's my right. No, I, okay, so that one I would say, I'm guessing, uh, wait, point to, point to either one, I don't care, point to one. That I would say is the textured side and the other one is the, nope, I had it backwards. Okay, it's hard to see it on the camera. <laughs> yeah. So that's so the that's smooth, smooth side. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, okay. That one is the textured. Okay, yeah, it's hard to, you can't see the text, you just can't see it, but when you're in person, you can see it pretty well. And feel it too. Yeah. You know, you can I, feel it definitely. I like how rich that, that print is. It's gorgeous. Mm hmm And this is from iDesigns as well. I can't remember the number of it though, but it is really yeah. cool. I love this design. And then this other one, this other side here is the actual icing sheet, premium icing sheets. So... Yeah. I still the think the, oh, this one. Yeah, that's on the bottom, right? This one's that's, the premium icing sheet. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's the premium icing sheet. Uh, let's see. This one on the bottom right here. That is a wafer paper. Okay, and you see how it's kind of paler. And that's because the you can all it, it's more translucent than an icing sheet or even a smart sheet. Yep. 
And then this one on the other side is the uh, Flex Frost. Right. It actually looks a lot richer than the, than the wafer paper does. Yeah, it would because the wafer paper is a little translucent. And so because of that, you're picking up color from behind. The icing sheet above it, you can see how it's darker. Um, that's a little bit thicker and much of a more brighter color paper. And that's why you see the differences in the color. So each paper reacts differently um, when you put it on. Mm -hmm. and, and what I like is that it's held its color. I mean, those are our inks. Yeah, because this it's has been, been since June. Yeah, yeah. So. And it's traveled and been in the hot car and. <laughs> and it's not preserved at all, correct? Except for the isomalt on top is what I would guess. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Just the uh, little isomalt on top has been preserved. Uh, sprayed it with a. Uh, um, yeah, the. PME glaze. PME glaze. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that, that's that's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you for sharing that. Does anybody have questions so far of anything? Oh yeah, by the way, on the bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but that's yeah. the uh, Flex Frost as well, using some of the uh, molds that you have. Um, just made some uh, yeah, little uh, lace, edible lace. That's and, uh, cool. Love that part too, yeah. Now, right now, um, for anybody here that does not have iDesigns, um, if you get our email, there's a nice little coupon. Actually, it's a pretty big coupon in there. Um, is it a coupon or is it actually priced? I don't remember what we did, but we just went ahead and um, had another special on it. So um, let me see. Let me just see, I will tell you. But what that is, is I think I designed is a collection of over 2000 different images. They're all licensed for edible use, but the way that Tammy used it is the way that actually was originated for to design um, prints that can be, you can put in the height. Um, and how high was that cake? It was a three <laughs> tier, so I think it like- Three well, inches or four inches? inches. Yeah, eight, twelve, so but each inches. Right, but each tier was what three, three, four, four inches. Inch. Yeah. So um, the uh, you you put in that it's four inches, and what that does is it'll actually put cut lines in there, so you know where every four inch section is, um, and you can cut along that line and match everything up, which is great. So. Um, Currently, that is on sale for $124, which is half price for a lifetime subscription. And I believe there's a coupon in our email as well, or you can use the 10% off here as well to get a lifetime subscription, which is pretty darn amazing because normally it's 250 bucks. So how are we doing there? We're doing good. It's just about to cool on the top here. So we're just about ready to take it off. And, uh, we Next, can't see what it. we'll do is. Oh. <laughs> Don't make that sound on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. see if I can move this over. There we go. Okay. There we go. Whee. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's just about cool enough to be able to handle. So. And you could use different size bottles or anything to get create like larger bases on it. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I just use this because I like the fact that it was small on the bottom and it was like bigger on the top, so it was yeah. like able to spread out a little more. So which is nice with these guys because you can, you know, add, um, you know, you can add like uh, candy or whatever you want in there. Yeah. Um, macaroons or little chocolate balls or, I mean, yeah, whatever, whatever you want in there. You can fill uh, it with cash. 
Oh, that too. That would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, the main thing though with the sales is that you, you definitely want to put stuff in there. Flowers are good too, uh, but you don't want anything really heavy. So like if you put like chocolate or candy in there, make sure it's not really heavy because otherwise over a certain period of time, the actual ice and malt will actually expand and spread out like that. So when it's supposed to be more like this, it'll actually spread and go down like that. Yeah. Does it make gotcha. sense? Yeah. It's gorgeous. But I, I think it, I think that's one of the things that's really neat about the eye designs is by changing the height, um, it changes the pattern. Um, and so you pick up different pieces of it and you, you know, unless you're looking to see the actual pattern, you're, you're not, you'll just see the design. Yeah. You know, so it's pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love the fact that you can add cut lines in there too, wherever you need to. Yeah. Yeah. That's Especially like if you're like the ones that I did for that display cake, I, um, I had, um, you know, the cut lines put in there because I knew the cake was going to be four inches tall. Each cake layer was four inches tall. So I just made a cut line four inches. So that way I just uh, cut it right then and there. And that way I knew exactly how big it was going to be. And so, so that was really nice. That's great. That's great. Okay. I think we're ready. So I'm just going to lift off like this. Move this guy over. Ooh. Just peeled right off. Very nice. So I just want to add a spot here. Oh, it is just like pouring down right out there. Okay. Move this out of the way. Okay. Move this over some. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we get to see it. That's gorgeous. All right. All right. So, so it, it drip, did it did, am I saying this right? Did it drip all the way down to the ground or the table? So you, if you have those flat pieces on it? Yeah. Right. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So this one you have a flat piece and if you don't like, like it, it, you can always torch it and take it off. But I don't know. I kind of like it. it Kind of turned out pretty cool. It reminds me of something that this just that piece of it with it twirling up and the motion of it. It reminds me of something you would see on Whoville, <laughs> doesn't it? It does. Oh yeah. yeah, it really does. So before I start cutting, so I made just a little like ice mold circle right here. So I'm actually going to torch it. I'm going to turn my torch on first. There we go. Okay. And then I'm actually going to just stick this down on it. So it has a little bit more of a better uh, flat space to sit on, a little bit more sturdier than what it was on before. Okay. I like the paper coming off. Are you going to cut that or leave it? Because I kind of think that's cool. Oh, you do? I do. Am I weird? Oh, I know I'm weird. You don't have to answer that. But what do you guys think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let everyone tell me. Y'all want me to cut the paper off or maybe just do half one side and half of the other side? What do y'all think? There's a delay. So we have to wait for everybody. Okay. Okay, so now we're just on the all right. So let's everyone tell me what y'all want to do. <laughs> now let's see. They'll start answering right now. Here we go. Sydney says it's beautiful, but she didn't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Are you guys going to talk today besides Sydney saying it's beautiful? All right. I guess you're going to have to decide. Oh, wait. Let's see. Looks, looks great. Gift wrap. <laughs> That's a Jesse <laughs> wrap. Cut it. Heather says cut it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you should cut it. <laughs> All right, Heather wins. I'm cutting it. So I'm just taking an exacto knife and I'm just holding some of the bulk parts, but l lightly. And the nice part is that it does cut pretty well. 
um, through there. Ooh, there we go. I don't know, it's like funny. You have to get just at the right angle on some of these. Yeah. Taisha says we should do half and half, so it's not too late. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Taisha, you're uh, slow. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's cool. There's one side down. Yeah, I think you have to, I think you have to cut it. It looks better. <laughs> yeah. Agree. Agree. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, just just being kind of careful, you know. But always go down with it. Go a cut away from you. Yeah. <laughs> just like always wear gloves when you're messing with hot ice and vault. Getting burned is not fun. Hey, who all joined this uh, semi camp, semi summer camp this past weekend? Anyone on here was able to see it? <laughs> Heather says she's regretting telling you to cut it. She's stressed out watching you cut it. It actually cuts pretty easily. It, it looks worse than it is. That's something I can actually do is cut that without busting it. Um, you just kind of got to go slow. And um, you do, yeah. And I think also it depends how, how sharp that blade is too. So if it's a little dull, it goes a little bit slower. Well, this is a brand new blade, so. Oh, I take that back. Maybe if it's duller, it works because mine are dull. <laughs> I was just thinking about <laughs> one and thinking, mine cut really well. I was using the pen blade, but but I mine are old and beat up and I've burned them and. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I'm a little violent. I did uh, this past weekend, we did the uh, semi uh, summer camp and they had me uh, demo and um, yeah, um, I'm a little bit, um, oh, I don't want to say careless, but I over torch things. I like the torch. It's like I'm a torch <laughs> addict. I'm a torch addict. That's what I am. So I burned everything. <laughs> that's okay. I know. I don't care. It's how I learn. It's how I learn. <laughs> She's just aggressive. <laughs> but I thought the dog, I mean, it was just so cute. And and I love the way you presented, like, how you can change it in eye designs. I love that. I, I actually didn't even know you could do that. So so I learned a little something. Yeah, there's that whole section in, in eye print. Um, it's tints and effects, and there you can age photos. There's some cool things, and you can combine some of them and do like two at a time. And it just depending on the order you do it, it it's really kind of cool what you can come up with. Let's see. <laughs> Jesse says that was great. I had so many bubbles in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> see. Everybody like is really, really nice to me and telling me how great I did and everything and being encouraging, but, but it's okay. I know I'm not that great. Um, and, and I'm okay with not being great at everything because I'm not going to be. Um, <laughs> so, so it's, but I did it. And I think what's good about that is that it shows people that even if you're a little bit nervous about, um, anything you're doing you know when you take it on you can you'll be amazed at what you find that you are good at um and you focus on those things and if you're not it's okay you know um but it was it was fun i will tell you that i can't tell you how many times i called sydney or her, michelle um is it supposed to do this or is it supposed to do that but it was it was a lot of fun yeah it was pugs and malt mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun it was fun <laughs> so so here it is all cut i do have some extra shards left which i can always use and add more ice malt to and then i can just kind of like put a little clip on like pour ice malt on here and then spread it out kind of thin and then put a couple clips on here 
and make like little, uh, I small, what do you call them? Waves or little splashes or whatever. You can always do that too and add to the isomol sail as well. So you could have them like kind of splashing up across here too. Or if you just want to leave the sail just like this, you could. Um, I will say this though, I, I don't have any right now, but um, if you're afraid that you put this on a cake and you're afraid that, oh, well, the customer is going to travel with it or you're afraid that it may like, you know, fall out or whatever, you can always attach a piece of like, like a, uh, like a popsicle stick or a, um, a lollipop stick or a, a piece of a, a dowel to the bottom of this and then stick it into a piece of ice, uh, styrofoam. And then, oh yeah, good idea. Yeah. And so that way, when you're ready, you just pull it off of the, out of the styrofoam, pop it onto the cake, and then you're done. You don't yeah. have to worry about it falling over or whatever. It's stable in there and it's done. That's a smart idea. Um, Sydney, I don't know if you were on when we were asking this question. Do you know why that's called a sale? Uh, we're trying to figure this out. Somebody called it a sale at some point, and I guess that was it. <laughs> So, but I did want to mention another thing too about this. Um, if you notice, like some uh, on the, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's some uh, parts right here where it's clear. Um, and if you want to torch out the tiny little bubbles, you can. Uh, but put it on when you turn your torch on, though, put it on like halfway instead of full blast because you don't want to melt everything too, like where it starts to fall apart. You just want to lightly torch it. Yeah, I don't lightly do anything. See, you do it much better than I do. I've never done it that short. <laughs> so. I had a great teacher. Thank you, Sydney. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know that I've ever taken her full class. I've heard her talk so many times. I've seen plenty of demos because she's done them for us. And so I know a lot and just, you know, but I'm, I'm, that's not, I'm not an artist, you know, I can come up with great ideas. I got a great imagination and I can tell you how to do it. So, <laughs> yeah. And that I'm good with that. I'm all good. That is beautiful. Absolutely.